Good morning, people. Welcome back to the channel. <coughs> Grumpy old git in the corner. Uh, today I'm just a little bit sad. <coughs> um, yesterday I had to say goodbye to a good friend of mine for the last 20 years. Um, had many adventures together. Um, including a week-long trip down to the south of France, carp fishing. And um, we've had many hours of fun, lots of adventures. Uh, I particularly remember a 24-hour drive round the south of England, um, as far south as um, Eastbourne. Uh, right back up to Birmingham and back down all the way through the Midlands, through Devon and back down to Cornwall. Um, I'd had so many people um, said that they hadn't seen me for years over Christmas. So I decided <laughs> one night to just get up and drive around the country, knock on their doors. It God knows whatever time of the day I was arrived <laughs> Stay for 10 minutes, have a cup of coffee, say hello, say you've seen me now and off on to the next one. And that was it, me and here for 24 hours. But, uh, yeah, but sadly the um, friendship has come to an end. Who am I talking about? My little green hooligan. <laughs> um, but realistically, um, at this day and age, um, I don't have any use for a GTI with a dirty great two litre lump in it. I took all the tuning bits off and the upgrades and everything to try and get the insurance down as low as I could. But you still get hammered on something like that. You know, it was, it was over 260 quid a year road tax for the thing. <laughs> so it's goodbye to the little green hooligan. We had fun. And now it's on to the new uh, sensible grandad mobile. Just for a little while. <laughs> uh, obviously, she's got the estate car. That's her main drive. Uh, this one's just in case I need to get about or something's up with the estate. She's got a car to get back with force to work. But anyway, that's that done. Yeah, sad day. Bye-bye, little green hooligan. Um, Boris has said now that there's no options off off the table we're dealing with the cost of living crisis so anything that's been put on the table it just seems it's there to make money for them not to save us any the only thing they did reduce was a little bit of fuel duty on petrol and diesel um but that was never passed on to the consumer. Uh, if anything, they put their prices up. And they were earning record profits. Every option that is there to help us has been ignored. And they moved on to their new favourite thing now, the windfall tax. Which to me means they'll just take more money off the suppliers who will charge us more to replace it. Can't you see that, you absolute bell end? <laughs> and uh, Boris has actually admitted now, he said in a, an interview, um, there's not a lot they can do at the uh, rise of cost of living. We will just have to wait. Wait for what? And what do we eat Why we're waiting, Boris? <laughs> you 
you know, you, you just can't admit you and your little funny friends there, your corrupt band of brothers in Westminster, you've screwed up royally. And you can't admit it. You've blamed everybody and everything. Even the Bank of England says it's spiralling out of control. But you can't blame yourselves. No, too arrogant for that. So, on a cheerful note, does anybody else see the country slowly dying? <laughs> Uh, we're being invaded. We've got many incoming food shortages now. And most people can't afford the food that is there. With the cost of living climbing and spiralling out of control. The transport system's broken. We're priced off the roads with our personal transport due to ridiculous fuel prices. And the trans public transport system is screwed. And we have a government that just wants to bleed us dry and leave us to die. That, that's what I see. That's my view of this country at the moment. Yeah, it's... It's weird. And now we've got Spaghetti Junction, 50 years old. Oh, dear. The so-called crossroads of the motorway network of this country. What a load of bollocks. <laughs> they, they said it wouldn't, the rest of the motorway system wouldn't work if it wasn't there. Well, from the amount of times I've seen queues of traffic up there for hours and hours and hours, it's, uh, <laughs> it's not doing its job anymore, is it? It might have been fine when it was first built 50 years ago, when there was a lot less, less traffic on the road. <coughs> but now it's just an ongoing noose around the uh, local council's neck because it's just repair after repair after repair. <sighs> and we got Musky now still continuing with Skynet. You know, it was another 53 satellites he threw up there last week. More planned for this week. Thousands going up. Has anybody seen any uh, improvement in the internet? Apparently it's not much an improvement if you pay for the ridiculous money he's asking for his setups. But there you go. <laughs> but anyway, that's it for today. I've got a lot to do. Boy, the weather's still reasonable. Um, it's that just that time of year. And now I've got a load more of the driveway out the front to um, spray off with the weed killer and everything. Now the car's gone. <laughs> but uh, it was still running. It was stood for eight years, put back on the road for three years. Then it's been stood up again for two years. And it was actually driven up onto the transporter. So I look after my motors. Anyway, guys. That's it for today from the corner. And until the next one, as always, thank you for your support. My respects to each and every one of you. So, until then, stay safe. Stay strong. Fight this tyranny from these idiots. Got that the right way around today. <laughs> I'm gone. <laughs>